doodly do. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ginger Ninja Gaming. I'm the Ginger Ninja 151, also known as Marlow, and welcome to Marlow's Mobile Monday. And today we're looking at Boom Beach. So, what is Boom Beach? I don't know. It's a game full of microtransactions that I hate, made by the paint, made me, uh, made by the same people who made Clash of Clans. So, gameplay. It wasn't too bad, you know. This tutorial really annoyed me, so this is all you get to see of the game. <laughs> he also annoyed me, um, for reasons. Uh, all the people look like him in the village. It's weird. Uh, it's a very tappy game. Uh, let's just. Oh my Jesus! Gee, what the? Dap. Okay, sorry, I didn't expect it to do that because I've already put the intro in and I've recorded it. So, uh, yeah, where was I? So, the gameplay's not too bad, you know. The UI is pretty good for a mobile game, nice, big. Um, those screens, the touch screen, it's got arrows to teach you where to go. The valid dump on the shore really just annoyed me. I don't like this game at all. Thank you for having me, the viewers. Um, victory! Okay, the village is very much Uh, so yeah. Um, it's just a very, another one of those mobile games that are just, play it, enjoy it, give us money. You know, it's just another one of those, and I've just broken the pen in my hand, and it's just ink everywhere. Damn it. Um, yeah. It's just enjoy the game and give us money. It's all it is, really. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't sell my entertainment that cheaply. I don't know. Um, I just bought Astro. I just bought Astro Wars. God, it's a good game. Um, so yeah. I, I, it's just really, it's another one of those, cl It's an, well it is clash, another one of those Clash of Clans games. Branded, rebranded, yes. All the art is the same, sorry I just nudged the microphone out of hatred. All the art's the same, you can tell it's definitely the same style as Clash of Clans. So, that's why I hate it. So, let's go straight to the scores really quickly because I don't really want uh, to see this game anymore. So, if I didn't explain this in the first episode, um, the scoring, as it works, you get five points on everything. You get five points for gameplay, graphics, cost, storage, and the UI. Five for each. And then that gives you a total of 25. Um, so, yeah, and then the other rule is you get zero points for cost if you have microtransactions. So... To Boom Beach. I have an Excel document with all of these scores in. Gameplay. Two points. It was as boring as Clash of Clans. It was tippy tappy, real time, uh, wait, and it just annoyed me. Uh, graphics, five, because I liked the cartoony look as I did with Clash of Clans. I'll probably explain why I like it in there too, because you can look at that. Cost, zero. It's got microtransactions. Storage, three points. Now, storage works on basically depending on how much storage it takes up. Um, I can't remember how this one took up. Uh, this one was a while ago, actually. Uh, three points for storage, because it wasn't too bad, I don't think. Um, and then five points for the UI, because it was very... The buttons, the UI is the user interface. The buttons were big, they were nice, they were good for your mobile game. Uh, they were big, they were tappy, and all of that guff. So, that gives... Well, that gives oh, that's called Clash of Clans. That gives Boom Beach a total of fifteen. And then, yeah. So on my imaginary leaderboard at the moment, Clash of Clans and Boom Beach are last with fifteen points. Yeah. So this 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 will be interesting with other games. I've only, I've got one other game in there, and it scored worse. So tune in next time to see how. What game scored worse than Boom Beach and Clash of Clans? 